And now to Belgium, where a Congolese gynecologist has received an award for providing medical care to victims of sexual violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In the Eastern DRC, many women live in constant fear that they might become the next victim of the sexual violence that has been rampant in the continuing conflict there. A study in the American Journal of Public Health says nearly 50 women and girls are raped every hour in the country. Nita Evele is an activist with Congo Global Action. The issue of rape in the Congo, it's not even a rape anymore. Because when you look at the way it's been done and the way it is perpetrated, it's to really um, inflict uh, pain and suffering to those women. They're doing that so that they can punish, punish the whole community, punish the women and, punish the whole, and, and bring the whole community down. In 1999, Dr. Denis Mukwege established the Penzi General Hospital at Bukavu in Eastern DRC as a maternity hospital. In response to the atrocities taking place in the region, it was soon transformed to accommodate women physically damaged by war-related rape and other sexual violence. Yvette Nzigira is a patient at the hospital. I was in my house when three democratic forces for the liberation of Rwanda, rebels, came and raped me. After the attack, I heard of this hospital that treats rape victims, and I came here to get medical help, and the doctors found out that I had contracted the HIV virus. The hospital offers comprehensive care to patients, combining treatments of the physical and emotional injuries. For Dr. Dennis Mukwege, Penzi Hospital's director, more support is needed to deal with the huge numbers of rape victims that come to the hospital. I know that uh, people say there is peace in the region, but unfortunately here at the hospital, we continue to treat and receive women every day who have been raped and are traumatized. Dr. Mukwege was awarded recently the King Baudouin International Development Prize for his work in support to these women. The prize, worth more than $200,000, rewards positive examples of development. Dr. Mukwege seized the opportunity to launch an appeal to the international community regarding these crimes committed against the women. All the victims have been raped with unbelievable brutality. Those who managed to survive reached the hospital in a state of incredible physical and psychological destruction. Often they arrive with their genital systems destroyed by bullets or sharp objects, an act of savagery unheard before in the history of the region. Dr. Mukwege says statistics show a decrease in rapes and some improvements in jailing the culprits, but much more remains to be done. He dedicates the prize to the women victims of sexual violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Dear Congolese sisters, spouses and mothers, despite of being the victims of unfair and barbaric tortures, Stay strong. And congratulations to him for his award. Absolutely. How is he able to protect these women at the clinic where he does these operations? One of the issues they're having is a lot of the perpetrators are men in uniform, whether mm -hmm. they're rebels or not. And uh, he does not want the woman to relieve the experience of the trauma of the rape if they, mm -hmm. are, if they work with men in uniform to protect the facilities. It's amazing. Thank well, thank you, you so much. Sure. You know what do. Always here with the latest health news, Tuesdays and Thursdays by Tion in Focus.